Today we will look at using the Align and Distribute feature inside Corel Draw to ensure that things are properly lined up. So I will be engraving on a plaque that has a beveled edge. So this outer rectangle here is representative of the outside of the plaque. This inner rectangle represents my engravable area. Since there was a beveled edge, I cannot engrave on the beveled edge. So I can eyeball it if I want. And this looks pretty good, but let's see when we zoom in a little closer and we use the Align and Distribute feature. So the first thing when using that feature is to select the object that is going to be aligned inside of the other object. So I'll be selecting the smaller of the two rectangles. I will hold down the control key on my keyboard and then I will select the larger of the two rectangles. I'll go up here to get the Align and Distribute tool. It pops up and it is automatically on Align, which is the first thing we're going to use. So I'll move it over. I want to center. This is horizontally. I also want to center vertically. I click both of those and then I'll click Apply and we'll see how off or how close I was with my eyeballing assessment. So I'll click Apply and you can see there is a change. I can keep this open. Next I'm going to take in the logo and I want it centered within the smaller rectangle. I only wanted it centered across the top, not all the way down, so I only wanted this item selected. Next I have all of the signatures of the players from the baseball team that the sponsor was responsible for. Again, I'm going to just center it left and right, so I'll just keep this item selected and click Apply. And there it is. Next, I have some text over here that I need it to be distributed evenly. So I have four lines of text and I will select those four lines of text. I want to distribute them so that it is the extent of the selection, which means just within the area that is selected. And I want the spacing to be even between each of, of the lines, between line one and two, between two and three, between two and four. And I can click apply. Then I can also align the centers of the text. And clicking to make sure all the lines are centered and evenly distributed. And now since they are, I can just group them and select all lines and do a control G so they are one group of text. And I would also like to, again, use the align feature to center. And then what I can do is I can take then what I can do is I can select these three objects that are on the plaque and I can distribute them so that their spacing is even as well. If you accidentally do something, for example, and you don't like what you have done, you can do a control Z on your keyboard to undo it and then just try another selection to see which is best. And that is using the Align and Distribute feature. For more information or to sign up for your free trial, visit laserU.com.